Welcome into Texans Today, everybody. I'm your host, Jeremy Chuggs, and coming up on today's show, a brand new segment here to the channel for our Texans Rumors shows. You know, a lot of shows here at Chat Sports, they kind of use this segment, and I wanted to bring it here to Texans Today. So we have a brand new segment on tap for you today. I hope y'all enjoy it. But before we get started, You'll see where I'm going with this in a second. I want you to rate Toro as the Texans mascot. Let me know. Scale it 1 to 10 or 1 to 100. 100, he's the best mascot ever invented. 1, he's the worst mascot to ever be invented. Let me know what you think down below. I think it's somewhere in the middle. I would give him probably like in the 80s. I think, you know... In Houston, my favorite mascot would be Clutch with the Rockets. I think he does a great job. Toro does a decent job too, but let me know what you think about our mascot down in the comment section because we're bringing in the Toro heads today for our rumor show. So I'm going to be breaking down a story and I'll give it either zero, one, two, three, or four Toro heads. And as you see, each Toro head means it's a little bit more truthful. So zero, it's fake news. No chance in ha it's happening. One, there's a small shred of truth to it. Two, people are talking. Three, pretty likely. And four, H-Town, hold it down. It is 100% happening. So that's the rumor meter that you need to know moving forward. I'll bring it up whenever we do this show again. But I just wanted to get you all caught up to speed before we get into the latest Texans rumors. And the first one, Justin Simmons. Is he going to sign with the Houston Texans? I'm going to give this one one Toro head, a small shred of truth with this one. And this coming from Albert Breer uh, earlier this week, talking about Justin Simmons. And, you know, he talked about possible destinations for the former Broncos safety. And he listed the Texans as a logical fit for the free agent. And I tend to agree with him. This is what Albert Breer had to say on Justin Simmons. I love the idea of Justin Simmons in either the Vic Fangio style of defense he's played for, uh, in for the Broncos since 2019 or in the Seattle Seahawks type of defense. That's why I'd really love to see him as the center fielder in the Niners defense, which historically played the Seattle three scheme and also just brought aboard Brandon Staley, whom Simmons knows well from the Fangio tree. Houston would be another fun fit for Simmons for the same reasons so Justin Simmons you know being named as a good logical fit for the Houston Texans which I've said you know in the past I kind of died down the rumors just a little bit after the Texans went ahead and drafted Kalen Bullock in the third round out of USC but realistically if they added Simmons to this room he would easily be the best safety in the room from the get no doubt about it he would be your safety number one and I think he would you know bring a, another scary element to this Texans defense. I think you add him alongside Kalen Bullock, who's a rookie, still going to be learning. I still think Jalen Petrie can have a bounce back year this season. Jimmy Ward getting a little bit older, but he can be that you know extra help in the nickel, in the slot, whenever you need an extra safety. But they're going to be rotating some of these guys in and out, especially if they run a lot of three safety sets. And I think Justin Simmons can be that guy who can come in and really be a another link in this Texans defense to propel it past what it was last year. I think Justin Simmons, I mean, 70 tackles, three interceptions, eight pass breakups last year. Obviously, he's getting older, but still, he's an all-pro caliber level player at the safety position. And your safety room last year was not very good. Yeah, I know, like I said, you added Kalen Bullock, but adding a guy like Justin Simmons totally transforms this room. So I'm going to ask you this question. Would you sign Justin Simmons? Let me know down in the comment section. Give me yes or no, the reasons why you would or would not sign Justin Simmons. I personally would if the money made sense. If he was, you know, wasn't trying to break the bank with the Texans, sign him to a one or two year deal. I think Justin Simmons is an absolute baller and would love him on the team. Want to hear what you have to say though? Go down in the comment section and let me know your thoughts. Next story on our Texans rumor meter. Should we be worried about Ju Juice Scruggs? I'm going to give this one two Toro heads. People are talking. I'm not going to say full-on panic meter, push the panic button. But I think, you know, it's, a, it's somewhat of a level of concern. I'm not going to go so far as others to say it's a major concern. But I think 
if you're not just a little bit worried, you're probably lying to yourself. I mean, this all came about with a PFF article where he was ranked the 24th best center going into 2024, which I honestly agree with him being 24 in the league. He was drafted out of Penn State to play center, but he played guard for the Texans last year whenever there was a bevy of injuries that happened along this Texans front five. And I think, you know, obviously him being ranked 24th by PFF, I necessarily, I agree with it. But the guys over at Toro Times, they did not agree with it. Not for the reason you would think, though. This is what they had to say about his ranking. One, we don't know if that change in position will help him or we're going to get more of the same from last season. We hope he's greatly improved, but you can't assume he is. He has to prove it. Secondly, everything we've seen from him so far has been at the guard spot. It'd make a ton of sense to put him this high if he had played center as a rookie, but he didn't. A more accurate ranking would be 32, if not lower. Uh... Lower than 30. So you're saying Juice Scruggs isn't even a starting center in the National Football League. I can't get behind that or agree with that whatsoever. I think it's a fair ranking. I think it's fair to say, oh, we should be maybe a little bit worried about Juice Scruggs playing center this year because, you know, he's still a younger player needing to develop. But saying that he's not even a starting caliber player, saying he's below 32, 32 or lower... I think that's pretty preposterous for a guy they drafted to play center. And then they moved him to guard because out of necessity, he had to play guard. It wasn't like they were like, oh, I think Juice Scruggs actually could fit better at guard. I think it was more of a necessity move for the Texans last year. And Scruggs in 2022, when he played at Penn State, he played all of his snaps at guard. He played all, you know, 866 snaps at Penn State in 2022 at the center position. Overall grade by PFF, 71.5, pass block, 73.6, run block, 69.6, and only one sack allowed. Decent grades for Scruggs at the center position, but that's the position where he feels more comfortable, and that's where I have him slotted in right now for this Texans depth chart. I mean, you have him at center. Kenyon Green's going to be left guard. The good news is, honestly, with this, the positive spin is, I think the guy right behind him, Jarrett Patterson, is more than capable to play the center spot too. So, God forbid, you know, injury or Juice Scruggs just does not play up to his potential this year. You have another good option there at the center position in Jarrett Patterson. But saying Juice Scruggs isn't a top 32 center going into this year, I think is wildly crazy by the Toro Times. I, I'm a little bit worried, but not that worried about Juice Scruggs. Now, I have one more story on tap for you today, but if you haven't gotten any Texans gear this offseason, I get it. Slow time, summertime, maybe you're a little low on cash. That's why I'm hooking you up with this sale link right here. If you go to chatsports.com slash Texans sale, they have shirts, they have hoodies, they have shorts, they have cups, they have decals, keychains, you name it. They have it over there for you. If you go check out the link, chatsports.com slash Texan sale. That's going to be in the comments and description of today's video. Go do a little window shopping. Go check out all the sale items they have. Maybe you find a great deal because they have a lot of last minute sales as well, stuff going out of stock. So go check it out today before it gets sold out. Go check out all the sale items so you can be repping the Texans next year when they're once again AFC South champions. And that kind of leads me into my last rumor on today's program. Texans, are they winning double digit games? in 2024. H-Town, hold it down. Four Toro heads on that one. Believe it, baby. It's happening. The Texans are winning double-digit games, but if you ask the folks over in Vegas, the sports books, they're saying it's a close one because their current over-under win total in Vegas is set at nine and a half games, meaning betting the over, betting the over for the Texans would mean you think they're, they're going to have double-digit wins this season. Now, I get where they're coming from because the Texans have a much more difficult schedule this year than they did last year. I mean, heck, you play the Bills in the first five weeks, which this is honestly the easiest part of your schedule the first eight weeks. You play the Colts twice, which, I mean, divisional matchup could be difficult. You play the Jaguars as well. Packers could be a tough game, but the back half of their schedule, I mean... The week 15 to week 17 stretch of Dolphins, Chiefs, Ravens is going to be tough. You have three primetime games 
from week nine to week 11 and Jets, Lions, Cowboys. So, I mean, a lot of tough matchups for the Texans going into this season. So I get why some people might be hesitant, but I just, I don't know. I don't know. Now, I, what I do know is that we are going to be giving you daily Texans videos for free all year long. And you saw all those games. You saw the primetime games. I'm trying to do as many Texans live watch parties as I can this season. So hit that sub button and don't miss out on a single moment of Texans football this season. If you want a great community of Texans fans, if you want daily Texans content for free from a kid from Houston, well, you're in the right spot. Go down and hit that sub button or go to youtube.com slash Texans TV. And speaking of you know, nine and a half wins there, win to or win over under for this season. What say you? Are you going over or are you going under on the nine and a half wins for the Houston Texans this season? I have the schedule on the left for you if you uh, just need a little bit of a reminder of who they're playing. But let me know down in the comment section. Are you going over or are you going under? What are you putting your money on? Put your money where your mouth is and get in the comment section. Let me know. Are you going over or under? Me personally, I am hammering the over. The Texans, I think they are going to win the AFC South this year. And to do that, I think you got to get double-digit wins. I think you got to have 10 wins at least. So, set at 9.5, give me that over. I think the Texans are a great football team this year. I have a lot of hope in D'Amico Ryan, CJ Stroud, and company. I think this team is going to meet expectations and even exceed expectations this season by being one of the top teams in the AFC not only the AFC South, the entire AFC, maybe the entire National Football League. So if you agree with me, hey, go to Vegas. Put your money where your mouth is. Hammer that over at nine and a half with me. And I hope everybody enjoyed our brand new rumor show today. I hope you all like the rumor meter, the Toro heads. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section or hit me up on Twitter or Instagram if you want to continue the dialogue, continue the conversation. I'm at Jeremy Chugs over there on X. I'm at Jeremy underscore Chugs on IG. My DMs are always open. If you have any questions, any thoughts, any concerns whatsoever, or if you just want to talk some Texans football, hit me up on social media. Like I said, always down to chop it up.